I am currently a student at the University of Toronto Scarborough and I became interested in studying international development from a range of experiences throughout my childhood and my experience in high school, uh, volunteering with various causes. And I sort of wondered what uh, type of career that, that might lead me to and I also wondered what types of spaces there might be for young people to ask questions. So the International Development Conference is uh, an opportunity for faculty and students and development professionals to come together um, and be in dialogue with each other about issues of international development and international cooperation. And we also wanted to engage the public. We wanted to get involved with high school students. I think a lot of students, especially as they're uh, working through high school, um, have issues that they care about, um, whether it be from charities that they volunteer for or organizations that they're involved with to gain their community service hours in high school, but they don't really know what other opportunities exist out there and they, they're not really sure what international development looks like as an industry. I became involved in an initiative that WISC runs called the Shine a Light program. Shine a Light is a fundraising initiative that helps raise funds for solar lamps that girls can use in refugee settings to uh, do their homework and do their schoolwork um, after hours. Also because I'm a young man that considers myself a feminist, that was a powerful statement for people who, for whatever reason, because of how masculinity is constructed, um, calling yourself an advocate for women or calling yourself a feminist is frowned upon, um, even in our society in, in Canada. And, and that's a huge barrier. One thing that connects all the various aspects of the work that I've done is that it all somehow involves engaging in dialogue across barriers and, and across kind of dynamics of power that otherwise might be very difficult to get across. And so in the university, we can think of how it might be difficult for students to engage their ideas and their activism and their, their inspiration for learning about certain issues or advocating for them. I would really encourage people to, as much as they possibly can and as much as that is feasible, to volunteer and get involved with an organization that speaks to them. Knowing that you don't have to have a, t a title or any sort of special position in order to make a good contribution. Um, all you need is a little bit of time and enthusiasm, really. Um, and people can do really amazing things with their volunteer work.